Hey, it's Dr. Remka. And since we're talking about, let's forget the fat, you probably need to know what is fat. And there's a lot of misconception and bad perception. Fat has gotten a very bad name. And I think it's time we change that story. The reality is it's gotten a bad name because you've been brainwashed into thinking it's something that it is not. All right, so what is fat? Fat are cells, they're called adipocytes. It's really a little droplet of fat, a lipid droplet has a little membrane around it. You have roughly 30 million of them in your body. 30 million things that I don't think are a mistake. I do believe everything's been put inside of you for a very specific reason. And to do things 30 million times, I think there's been some divine guidance as to why that's there. The reality of what fat cells do, we're trying to forget the fat, what we're trying to forget them to do, we're basically trying to shrink them. We want them to forget how big they are because what they do, these cells, they grow or shrink. Think of a balloon. It gets you water balloon, you can fill it up, you blow it up with air, and then it can deflate. So you can inflate or deflate. You fill it up with fat, with liquid lipids, or you can shrink it down, all right? They grow or shrink. They don't go away. You aren't getting rid of them. That's important to remember in the story. It's important to remember in terms of visualization. I do want you to be using the V-Bomb course and inserting that into this whole process. And you visualize your body, I want you to see them shrinking down. All right. So to forget the fats, what we're trying to do is bring them down. But what we need to be aware of is what does the fat do? Now you have white fat and brown fat. I am not going to talk about brown fat in this lecture that is coming later. So we're just talking about white fat, white adipose tissue gets the name from it's an adipocyte. So adipose fat, same thing. We're talking about the white stuff. The white stuff is the things that you think about that makes the face puffy, that puts the roll around, you know, your waist, that's in your, in your hips, in your butt, and everywhere else. Um, it is visceral fat is a term you'll hear. This is a type of that. Okay. All right. So what does it do? Now, your most common thing that you will think about, this is whatever, how you think about it, but I'm still saying it in a way that puts more love and nurturing in your mindset about this. What fat is doing is that it provides a way to store excess energy for long-term use. That's a really good thing. This is a brilliant biological adaptation that 30 million cells have taken on for you. Think of a camel that it can hold water in essence, right? In its back, in the hump. So it can go for a really long time without needing to drink anything. So instead of dying, like a lot of other things do in the desert, it's good to go. Well, you're allowed to eat excess energy, take in excess energy. And instead of wasting it, you're able to store it for when the conditions will change around you inside your environment and energy will be scarce. So in, in a feast, you can store excess energy when a fast is coming. Feast, famine, eat fast. This is the normal cycle of life on earth that we've kind of disrupted with modern technology, but we're gonna get back to it right now, right? So it's a way to store excess energy. That's brilliant. It's smart. Let's put love and be grateful that we have excess energy available to us. It also, one of my favorite things is that it sequesters toxins. This is there to protect the most important things you got going on, which are your brain and your heart, which can never take a break, and other vital organs like your liver and your kidneys and your pancreas and your gallbladder, right? Okay, so think of it like this. You're taking in toxins all the time. They're in a very different way uh, an amount than it ever used to be. Air, water, uh, foods, pharmaceuticals, vaccines. Think about all the ways, lotions, makeups, hair products, hair dyes, nail polish, all right? Plastics, birth control pills in your drinking water, fluoride in your drinking water. These are all toxins. The aluminum, the mercury, the lead, the DDT, the glyphosate, the BPA, the Valium, the Xanax, the opioids, it's everywhere. 
mold, fungus, parasites, bacteria, okay, all of those things, they're toxins. And you eat them, you breathe them, they come on your skin, whatever, they get there, they get injected, doesn't really matter how, kind of does, but let's say they're there, they're circulating in your blood, something has to happen. How you get things out, you eliminate toxins, so your big, big way of doing it is breathing, so your lungs, your air, uh, you um, pee it out through the kidneys, the urinary system, we get that out, uh, we poop it out through the digestive, the colon and that whole lymphatic and that portal that goes on, the liver and the kidneys are working to, to detox and flush waste like you have no idea and get them out of your blood and get them out of your body. And they also come through the skin through sweat. So we wanna encourage all of those things to work, but sometimes there's so many toxins pouring into the glass, the body just cannot keep up and there's an overflow, goes in the blood. What's gonna happen then? Well. To the rescue are those amazing adipocytes. They're really, they're just, they're just supposed to be storing energy for you guys. They're like a bank full of money that you're not accessing. And so there, you basically have a, you know, a vault full of money, energy to cash in anytime, but you've lost the key because you don't know how to, to, to get it. Well, unfortunately, the bank had to say, well, we got big problems. We'll hold on and take all the poisons and keep these bad guys to protect the brain. So they're holding lead, parasites, viruses, Lyme. They're holding all kinds of things. Now, we want to decrease those size of those balloons, those bubbles, get that cash money flowing out, that energy. A little bit of junk is going to come with it. This is uh, something we have to deal with in the weight loss detoxification process. We're going to, I'm going to teach you tips and tricks, but that's, what's going on. One, it's, it's a bunch of energy, a bunch of money that you get ready to spend. But when you spend it, a little bit of sticky dirt comes out with it. So one, it's been protecting you from a famine and it's also protecting you from toxins from ripping your brain apart. I think that's a really good thing. So I want you to start reframing how you look at it, what's going on in there and, and throw some love, some light, some, some pure white love energy and, and say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, belly, for protecting my brain from getting loaded up with aluminum. Thank you, belly, for protecting my breasts from getting full of lead. This is a genius adaptation your body has done for you. The more toxic life you've had, the more likely to grow your fat cells that you, you have. So how do we shrink them up? We're going to get less toxic and then we're going to shrink them up. But you can't keep throwing more toxins in your body, guys, because they're going to fill back up real quick. Your body's trying to save your life. Remember that. All right. It's also the largest endocrine gland in the body. What's an endocrine gland? It's a hormone gland, like uh, your pancreas, like your thyroid, like your adrenal glands. Yes, your white fat tissue is on the same par as your thyroid, your adrenals, your pancreas. This is, this is not how people think of it. You, you don't think of your thyroid in disgust. You aren't angry at your adrenals. You aren't looking in the mirror and saying, oh, stupid pancreas but you do that with your fat and that's not really nice. It doesn't appreciate it. So we're gonna flip the script on how we're thinking of this. Um, this was only discovered in 1994. 1994, they discovered that it made a hormone called leptin. That's not that long ago, okay? And since 1994, when they discovered leptin, which regulates your appetite, yes, your fat controls your appetite. <laughs> so, when they discovered, and it's called the master hormone, it turns out it's a major regulator of all your metabolism. They've discovered dozens more hormones since 1994 that your white fat is producing. We had no idea, and we are continuing to discover more every day. So I know it's shocking to think in 2000, in an hour 2021, that there's still things that the body does and makes that we don't even know. Yes, it's true. It's really, really true. So don't the science is not settled because we don't even understand the physiology fully, right? It's an endocrine gland. It is making hormones. Love your endocrine glands, you guys. Very, very smart thing to do. It also modulates your immune system. Now, when you account, accumulate too much of this fatty tissue, 
it, it has kind of a negative feedback loop, this, this vicious cycle, actually it's a pro feedback where it's making more inflammatory markers, it drives it. So when it hits outside of a normal tipping point of what is a healthy thing for you, it, it puts a, uh, it amplifies uh, inflammation and it amplifies cytokines. So it makes inflammatory things, which are like painful things worse. And it makes cytokine storms, which we'll all hear about, which is not what you want to have in an immune system. It makes it worse. So yes, it plays a part in balancing your immune system. And when it gets out of whack, there's too much excess energy and too much excess toxins, it, it increases, it, it works as a, a part of the immune system that creates more fire on top of itself. It provides warmth and insulation from cold exposure. This we all can kind of think of fat insulates us protects us. It's, 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 it's great. You don't want to ever get too little fat. That's a dangerous life-threatening condition. Now let's also talk about what it does here. Fat also emotionally insulates and protects you. All right. There, if there are stress parts of your life or some of the world you don't want to be in, it's going to keep you away from it. It creates a safe distance, a safe space, it keeps you away from other people, right? Uh, and we'll go deeper, but those are pretty obvious and self-explanatory. You know, I know people who have intentionally gained weight because they, these women were assaulted and they thought of themselves as too attractive and they wanted to stop getting the attention. They knew exactly what they were doing. I know women who've gained weight intentionally to um, feel stronger against abusive partners. They said, well, now with this extra hundred pounds, he can't throw me around the kitchen so easily. These are exact words I've heard in practice for over 20 years. This is very common. It also physically and energetically grounds you. So it is very common to feel, if you don't know how to ground yourself, to feel safe in your space in the world, to feel like you have a right to live here, to feel like it's okay to be in this human body. Uh, very common after severe physical trauma, near death experiences, um, to end up putting on a lot of weight to feel like you have a, a reason to stay safe on the earth. It's grounding. So if you don't have good grounding techniques, sometimes this is what we need to access to teach you to finally feel safe enough to release, to finally forget the fat. So again, let's just recap. What are some of the things that fat does? It provides a way to store excess energy long-term. It sequesters toxins to protect your brain. It's saving your life. It's the largest endocrine gland in your body. It's a gland. We don't want to just hate on it and destroy it, you guys. It produces leptin and dozens of other hormones essential to your met metabolic rate and your um, appetite. It modulates your immune system. Too much of it instigates cytokine storms. It provides warmth and insulation from cold. It emotionally insulates you. It emotionally protects you. It is keeping you safe as you feel you need because you don't know any other tool yet, but we're going to teach them to you. And it physically and energetically grounds you in your physical being on the planet. I want us to start rethinking how we think about fat. Starting from here, we have a little bit of education about what it really is and what it's doing. It's offering you a lot of benefits. It's helping you in many, many ways. We're going to start shifting our thinking towards love and gratitude for our fat.